Generally speaking, if you're a kid growing up in Pittsburgh, like Jesse and Josh Lyle, the last place you ever want to be is in a courtroom across the table from Detective Jack Mook. How do? Mook is a by-the-book, no-nonsense, chew him up, spit him out, 22-year veteran of the force. Outside of work, he's a committed bachelor, a man's man, who would never so much as let a Vidalia see his soft side. For fun, he hits people and volunteers at the Steel City Boxing Gym, Flip. teaching the sport to underprivileged kids. To Most of the kids that come in this gym are street kids. I'm not going to hurt you. And many of them have been uh, born into poverty. Kids like Jesse and his older brother, Josh. Long before their date in court, Jack had been working with them. Turn that hand. He really liked these kids Set. and knew the feeling was mutual. Turn that hand. So when they just stopped showing up at the gym one day, jab, jab. Jack went out jab right and found hand. them. And he was asking me about it, and then I just cried. What Jack didn't know, what no one knew till that moment, was just how bad these kids had it. They were in a foster home with foster parents who Jack says were extremely abusive and neglectful. They have had it as worse as any other kid that's ever lived in the city of Pittsburgh, living conditions wise. Really? And that just, I had enough of it. So Jack Mook took matters into his own hands, cashed in some favors, and got the kids placed in a new home. You want something else to eat? His. I eat a sandwich. For Jack, it's been quite an adjustment. I'm in here trying to learn my culinary skills, brother. <laughs> but I get the sense that you're really loving this. Yeah, yes. It's awesome. It's the best thing I ever did in my life. At least it was the best thing. That's it. Until the day he went to court and did one better. They'll be successful. Adopted the boys. All right, come on, guys. And made them mooks. You're mook, right? You happy? After this story first aired in 2014, we got a lot of email. A surprising amount from women who wanted to meet this guy. So did you email us? Are you one of those? No, <laughs> no. Mary says she saw the story, but she met him in a bar. Did you go to the bar because you knew he'd be there? Yes. Ah, <laughs> yes. I am For answering honestly. <laughs> they were married last summer. She came with three of her own, so now Jack and the boys are part of a Brady Bunch, a family none of them could have ever imagined just a few years ago. Jack especially. I thought being single was fun because you don't have no responsibilities. But when you're single, you don't realize what you're missing. I'm glad I let her break through that barrier and take me away from that life. Sounds like it wasn't just the boys who were rescued.